first of all, uh, how did you get involved in this pro in this project? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the director Mawali um, approached me because um, he'd seen me uh, perform in some short films and some different um, gangster kind of characters. So um, he telephoned me um, and uh, we met up in uh, the part of London where we actually shoot the film uh, called Poplars, which is kind of, uh, um, how do you say it, downtown, mm -hmm. you know, like downtown London. Um, and um, we just started talking about the, the piece and the project. Um, and he had this amazing um, idea about, um, you know, a young boy uh, who's kind of becomes almost a superhero um, as a ninja assassin, um, but in the middle of London, which is a bit crazy, a little bit kick-ass, a little bit uh, Leon, um, but with the London backdrop. And he pitched me the idea, um, and we immediately started working on the character, and we started uh, doing some improvisations. Um, so I started to improvise the character for him, Immediately, um, and we just clicked, and that was it. You know, I said, uh, I said, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. And how, how it was the, the shooting? Was uh, hard shooting uh, because of the acting on the scene? Yeah, there was different things. Well, you know, the rest of the cast uh, were put through a lot of um, training, uh, stunt training, and guns training, which is all on the internet. You know, they had six weeks training, which is unusual for a low-budget film. You know, the budget is under two million, so it's, uh, they really wanted to get the, the, the action right because it's an action thriller, you know, fantastical action thriller. But um, I didn't have too much of that training. My training was uh, drinking, taking cocaine, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> putting on weight <laughs> and because my, my character is like an alcoholic kind of uh, bad policeman, you know, he's like... Uh, we would say uh, a bent copper, but you know, a, a policeman on the wrong side okay. of the law. Yeah. So my, that was my training, really. I have to, to, to get in the, in the character too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the Stan Stanislavski way. <laughs> exactly. No, it, it wasn't method. Uh, but uh, no, it was. Um, I didn't have to be as fit as all of the other uh, the cast, you know. Um, so that was lucky in one way. Um, but they get to do all the fantastic fight scenes, and they've got the six pack, and they're you know greased up fighting in the um, in the saunas and everything with the guns. So th that was bad in that way, you know. <laughs> so is your first time here? First time at Sitges. Ah, yeah, yeah, for what's sure. Your opinion about the festival? I think the festival is amazing. Um, I was just saying um, to my manager Tanya um, that. Um, you know, we have some small festivals in England, in London, but they're not in beautiful locations. Uh -huh. You know, like uh, there's a little festival in Brighton, maybe that's the best the best one. Um, but most of the festivals are in the centres of cities. And uh, this is like a little can, uh, but the people are more friendly. Um, there's less pressure to be, you know, something really, really special. You know, everyone is just kind of, um, you know, friendly and welcoming. And everything's so easy. It's all in the hotel, you know. Um, I, I haven't been refused entry to anything yet, you know. <laughs> so it's like, it's uh, it's really kind of functional, um, but beautiful film, film festival. Your first time in Spain? No, no, no. I've been to Spain many times. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all around? Or? Yeah, at Costa Blanca. Uh, my mother lives in uh, Costa Blanca oh, okay. in Altea, okay. so I go to I go to visit my mother a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. The church is amazing, and yesterday obviously we went on the zombie walk, oh, okay. you know, which is just amazing. And um, so many thousands of people, and the, the makeup was like, um, you know, it's like, oh, like oh, yeah, like Spielberg or something, you know, it's just. <laughs> Just crazy the, the amount of time they spent to get their makeup perfect because they want to be a perfect zombie for the day. You know, those guys uh, are fanatical, and I was just thinking, you know, zombies not going anywhere. Is it? It's here to stay, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You say before that uh, it's, it's, it was very strange that uh, six weeks of uh, to prepare to training. Yeah. Training yeah. To, uh, for a low budget film. But yeah, very unusual. Look in that way, in the final look of the film is very uh, more than a, a medium. Good production values. Yeah. Well, that, thank you very much. And um, 
you know, it, um, because it was an action film, I think it was very ambitious, but everyone knew that, so everyone kind of worked a little bit, was a little bit more passionate, I think, than some of the other films that I've worked on, because they wanted to pull it together, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Mo, Mo Ali is uh, very much an artist in, in the sense that um, he's a film director, but he loves uh, you know things that are visually exci exciting. So he likes to paint. You know, he likes to paint. Mm -hmm. um, so it, the color palettes and the the movement and the fluidity um, is all wonderful. I mean, obviously we couldn't be a Leon or a Kickass. We didn't have the money. Um, but we, we, we did the best we could with the money that we had, you know. Um, but also, um, I think um, because um, we're all from London, the, the, the director of photography, the DOP, the cinematographer is from London, Mo's from London, I'm from London. It was a very London affair and we knew the areas we were shooting in. So they, they kind of, um, I think they were familiar um, you know, when, they, when they lit the film. They were very familiar with, the, with uh, how to light London, I think, and they did a good job. Uh, I just starred in my first uh, film. I just played lead um, in uh, like a 1.5 million pound um, British gangster film uh, with some actors you may know. Um, Stephen Burkoff was from Rambo, Rambo and Beverly Hills Cop, um, and uh, Bernard. Sorry, Steve. Stephen Burkoff. Uh, was in, in Beverly Hills Cop what his called? He's the bad guy in ah. the first one ah, with okay. the bald head. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah. a sort of spot here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he'd done a hundred films. Very, um, he's like Frank um, Frank Nero for us. Oh, okay. You know, like for, for he's like a Frank Nero, yeah, yeah, Frank Nero. For, for us. Yeah, yeah Frank yeah. Nero. Um, who's here, isn't he? Frank Nero was here yeah, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So Stephen Burkhoff and Bernard Hill from. Um, you would know him from Lord of the Rings, the oh. king in Lord of the Rings, and uh, some, some fantastic actors. So that was my first lead role. Um, played co-lead with a, a, a young um, British actor called Elliot Titanzor. Um, and I had a good time. My, my character was like, um, he's a gangster, of course, but he's uh, very, very close to the Joker. You know the Joker? He's very unhinged, very crazy guy. Uh -huh. Um, completely psychotic, um, you know, not aware of any of the consequences of any of his actions, and um, it was the, the kind of uh, the first role where really where I was completely s submerged in the character, you know. So, and do you like to, to play this kind of parts of uh, parts of gangster, or, or or do you feel to be? Uh, Encapsulating this, this kind of characters forever. Well, and the, the strange thing is, I'm, I'm just prepping for a horror film. Okay. Uh, we start shooting on Monday, mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow. Fly back to England tomorrow morning, and we start. Sorry, we start shooting Tuesday morning. So I fly back to the, which is set on an island, and it's a horror film called uh, Writers Retreat. And the, the, the character is really, really nice. Ah, okay. And um, he's really warm inside and caring. Uh -huh. he, he has a dark past because he's sleeping with prostitutes and his wife is in a wheelchair <laughs> so he has this sort of demons in the backstory but the character itself is really really lovely and I was finding it easier to play the really really evil guy yeah. it's easier than the really really nice guy so now I'm having to s completely switch okay. all of my fe feelings um, and my nature uh -huh. my nature inside from someone who is just pure evil <laughs> like the Joker to someone who's you know 100% nice so that in itself that's quite challenging you know so I've been m walking around stitches in character um, yesterday on the beach as the nice guy trying to smile at everyone <laughs> and be nice and hey love you love you <laughs> instead of just <laughs> okay uh, we all in the, in the magazine we are a huge fans of Dr. Who yeah. and Doctor Who yeah, 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 yeah. Why would be a really good mask? You think so? Okay. Well, <laughs> someday we will. Someday we will see you in a Doctor Who episode. Yeah. Well, I would definitely do it because you know it's a brilliant show, and uh, again, you know, it's going to be around forever. It's such a. It's in the the um, you know the heart of our TV culture and the psyche of of uh, Britain. Doctor Who, Sherlock. You know, I don't know if you watch Sherlock Holmes, but. Doctor Who, Sherlock, those kind of shows are kind of uh, iconic shows for us. Yeah, but the 
would be funny to see a master with a gangster look. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that would be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you.